Happy Friday, Spartan Nation. Uh, we wanted to come to you. We're wrapping up. What are we wrapping up week three today? Uh, we had an awesome week of learning this week, some different activities that we'll get into, but I got some other Spartans here that want to say hi. So we had a little different uh, trivia going on around campus today to involve the staff. We had, uh, we hit some little Spartan figurines around campus today. And uh, we had a couple teachers on their prep walking around and, and earning some uh, prize points as we have all of our teachers divided up uh, throughout the year to do some different contests and stuff. So thought we'd come outside today. Today was the first day of the school year without a heat index and we were able to open the gates for students so they could come out and uh, play basketball and soccer and uh, hang outside a little bit today. So that was a not good opportunity. So as long as there's not a heat index, we will open the gates up at lunch and let students come out and uh, have some time. So that's really good. Um, appreciate all the families this week that came out and uh, participated for the uh, Queen Creek PD police presentation. And then the following day, we had one for students. Our students did such an amazing job uh, being respectful. Uh, Officer De La Torre from the Queen Creek Beast Police Department uh, said it was the best school she had been to in doing her uh, road show with this presentation. So uh, there is a link in the message, uh, in, in the written message that you can access the PowerPoint that the students saw. And so I wanna thank uh, all of our students for doing an amazing job. We had two different assemblies, one seventh and one eighth, and just very proud of them for the first presentation of the year, the way they came in, the way they were a good audience member, and the way they exited and headed back to class. Uh, this week we had our first early release of the school year and it was uh, we did a shield lesson on Wednesday on on grit and what that means and having grit and so you can also access that PowerPoint in the uh, the message and so you'll see a link for that to click on as well. I uh, want to thank Miss Baywick and some of our NJHS students for uh, their help with our flag raising and lowering each day and so Right now we're working on getting a new light for our flagpole. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we've partnered with NJHS and each day we uh, raise the flag and then when we lower it, we uh, have the proper folding techniques to uh, close out the day with the flag. So just wanna thank Ms. Baywick and, it, and those NJHS students. I wanna thank Ms. Vanessa, uh, our uh, receptionist at the front office. She made this amazing handout that you'll find that link to click on that um, in the in the email that went out, but there's some fridge facts. It's just this little handout that you can put uh, on your fridge at home and just got some phone numbers and contact information. It's got student view, parent view. So just some different things. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, uh, but she did an amazing job of putting that together. And it's just one little quick, you can print it out, cut it out, put it on the fridge. So thank you, Miss Vanessa for doing that. Uh, sports this week. Sports kicked off yesterday. Uh, I had the opportunity to stay after school and be a part of watching seventh grade volleyball in a very exciting uh, game that went to three sets and they won uh, in that. It was an awesome way to kick off the, the athletic quarter with seventh grade volleyball winning. Eighth grade had a very competitive game as well. Came up a little short but I'm excited to see how they continue to grow and progress throughout the the season and then our baseball kicked off. I shouldn't say kicked off, but first pitch of the season we yesterday. And so uh, looking forward to getting a chance to watch them. I got a chance to watch eighth grade baseball play yesterday and Miss McCullough, our Dean of Students went over to Power Ranch to support them uh, yesterday. Today, um, getting uh, Friday fist bumps and getting a chance to pop into classrooms and say hello to teachers and tell them ha have a great weekend had the opportunity to see some really cool stuff. And so I uh, wanted to give a, a shout out to Miss Rallison and her art students walked in and they were doing this really cool, creative experimenting with, with paint and the, all the different creations they were doing. And so it was really cool to see what they were working on. And then right next door in Miss Kritz's classroom, uh, they were doing this really cool optical illusion color wheels where it literally looked like you could dive in to the, uh, the page and disappear into the artwork. And so congratulations to all of them for their amazing art talents. Uh, and then uh, walking into Miss Welch and Miss Singer's math class, it was really cool to see them uh, working with students one-on-one -on -one with the math problems 
writing on student desks with them, you know, working out that math problem and, and, and seeing that growth and some of those light bulbs go off with, with learning that math and the concepts they're working on. So congratulations to everyone in that classroom for all their hard work today. And uh, wrapping up, looking ahead at next week, uh, we have athletic events on wrestling uh, here at home on Monday. And then they hit the road on Wednesday for another uh, meet or match. And then uh, we have on Tuesday and Thursday, uh, volleyball and baseball will play again. Uh, Tuesday is uh, home. And then our Thursday, they will, they will travel. And so uh, good luck to all of our student athletes. I hope uh, they continue to grow as the season progresses. And uh, I'm excited to be a part of watching them uh, throughout the season. So uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Uh, as always, go Spartans. And as I've gotten some, some YouTube tips from some students around campus, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great weekend, Spartan Nation.